I'm Justin Genak, and I'm an artist from New York City. Uh, my wife, Christine, and I uh, started this project called Wants for Sale, and we were just talking about doing a project together. And we thought about, you know, why would we do art and, you know, well, maybe we should be transparent about the things that we're actually planning on buying with the art that we sell. So we're like, yeah, we really want a flat screen TV. And we're trying to figure out how to get a flat screen TV. So Christine said, well, what if we just painted the flat screen TV and sold it for the price of the TV? And then we can go out and buy the TV. I was like, well, well that's kind of genius. So we realized that that idea had, you know, had a lot of potential and a lot of possibility. We wanted to come up with a style that really uh, put the focus on the concept rather than the execution. Um, you know, because we could do these beautifully realistic and then people would be, you know, buying ones based on how well it's painted. But we really wanted people to buy it just strictly based on the idea and we wanted something very simple, graphic and iconic that really represented each item. We came up with a style that's very bright, very bold with black outlines and it, it's very, very poppy and it's something that we think is fun and people would be into. So UNICEF has been working with this ad agency, uh, BBH in New York, and they were trying to come up with something that would get a lot of attention for the famine uh, in the Horn of Africa. There's a huge humanitarian crisis going on there right now. Uh, where there's more than 12 million people are in need of humanitarian assistance, including 4 million children. So we created good shirts uh, for the Horn of Africa. And basically each shirt has an item of aid uh, that they need to help the famine in Africa. Insecticide treated mosquito nets on the shirt that has the mosquito is $18.57. And then we have 100 metric tons of corn soy blend, uh, which we have as a truck with a ginormous ear of corn on the back. It's $75,000. And then we have uh, a cargo flight for $300,000. We're gonna check with Guinness, and uh, I think we would have the world's most expensive t-shirt. We've sold some paintings for charity before, but you know, by doing everything by hand, you can only do so much. So it's great now that we're partnering with Threadless and being able to put them on shirts and help so many more people. With the paintings, we're hand making every painting and uh, you know we do all the art ourselves. And then now it's a collaborative effort with Threadless. So we started the art you know, in our uh, studio where we hand drew everything. And now we've sent it over here to finish the painting uh, on the actual shirt. So it's cool to be here and see it all happening and be a part of the, the art being finished. Threadless is such a valuable resource because it has such a strong community. And I think with causes like this, you really need the community to get behind it. Um, so it was kind of the perfect partnership. The Threadless community is such a passionate community of people. It seems like something they'd want to wear on their shirt and wear it as a badge and wear it proudly. If you get a good shirt, you're getting good karma. You're helping people and you're selfishly getting something cool out of it, but then at the same time, all of the money you're giving is going to help somebody. So there's really not a better option than that.